There you go. Thank you so you have much. Have a good one. You too. Seeing these these new guys right here. I've been actually getting these for a while now. This is the, the new Coca-Cola Energy. I don't know, it's pretty fire. I, get, I usually get the zero sugar cherry. Not bad, we're gonna freaking crack her open because we kinda got a long night ahead of us here. But welcome back to another one. We are back and I am in the Brookings, South Dakota area. It's about 4 p.m. I had to get this energy drink because you know what we're doing tonight? We're doing a little night crappie fishing, that's right. I got a buddy that has been texting me, he's like, Bro, I'm on a night crappie bite. You should come out and film a video. I think it could be really cool. I'm about 40 minutes away from the lake that we're meeting at. I needed to get some energy, so I stopped here, got some gas, got some energy for the night, and now we're gonna make a 40 minute drive to meet my buddy and do a little night fishing for some crappies. And I'm hoping to take a few home, do a little bit of harvesting because it's not really a new recipe. It's just something that I thought of that might be good. So we're gonna try a new recipe tonight and we're gonna see how it goes. So stay tuned guys, you're not gonna miss this one. It's freaking nice out here, holy crap. It's actually not too windy for a South Dakota day. If you guys know South Dakota or anywhere in the Midwest, it's just flat and freaking windy. So today is kind of a treat to not have this much wind, but wow, this sun is going down. I have not gone on a night bite yet this year. So this is my first time fishing at night. I've actually fished this lake before, like in the summertime, I fish this a lot for bass mostly, but I didn't even know there was freaking crappies in here. So this is gonna be cool fishing this lake. This is a first for me. I'm just praying, I'm praying that I can get on some crappies for you guys. I wanna show you guys this recipe that I thought of that would be good. So we're waiting for my friend right now. Once he shows up here, we're gonna boogie on out there and catch some crappies. Dad. What's up? What's up, how you doing? Not too bad, how about you? People don't know you because the last time we went fishing, it did, yeah, it did not go very well. So what, what's your name? I am Justin Casanova. And how can people find you on like social media or something like that? Fishing the 605. Fishing the 605. So you have an IG account, right? Yep, Instagram and a Facebook page. Gotcha. So I'll leave him linked down below. Make sure to go check him out. But today, my boy Justin here, we decided, well, he's been on this pretty good bite and he's like, hey, you know, last time we went fishing, out, last time actually I went fishing with him, did not go very well. It wasn't. It wasn't very great, was it? No, not at all. It was pretty bad. So we're like, there's no way we can go fishing two times in a row and get blank. So he's like, here, I got this other bite. Let's just see if we can make it happen. So we're out here, Justin's out here. We're gonna get going here and hopefully get some crappies. Yes, sir. Oh, God, yeah. Look at this setup. Oh, yeah. We've got three holes punched right there. Nice big otter like this. Look at that. Got a bench right here to put our deucers down in. So, like, the deucers stay up there. Well, actually, the unit stays up there. The deucer go do goes down in the holes. Guess it's easier to fish out of. So, you ready? Let's catch some fish. All right. Well, we got everything set up, as you can see. Hopefully, you enjoyed that little time lapse. But the sun is still pretty high. It's probably only about like five ish or so. So we're doing pretty good on time. About, all right, so about six o'clock, about an hour from now, there should be some action. So during this time, we might just stay in here and stay warm. Or if we get kind of ambitious, I might punch some holes, might do a little hole hopping, you know, you never know. So we're gonna strap the chesty on and get to fishing. All right, making the first drop of the day. Fishing in about eh, 23 feet of water here. Oh, I'll actually show you guys what I'm using right now. Starting the day off with the good old frostbite. I believe this is like a 1 16th ounce little tungsten right there. And I have just a plastic on right now, but Jake was saying that as the night goes on, these fish just stray away from plastics and they start hitting spikes. So over here, we just got some nice little red spikes right there. Super delicious. But for right now, you know, it's kind of slow. I'm just going to see if I can pick something off with the plastics because I'm a huge plastics guy. As the day goes on, I might have to switch over to the live bait. But for right now, that's what I'm rolling with. Oh, geez. Oh, dude, look at him. He's charged up. Look at him. He's flying after me. He's I, This mark is at... 13 feet of water and 25 feet of water. Oh, he, he nicked it. All right, I gotta put my, I have my phone in my hand. I was messing around, it's getting serious. It's getting serious now. There we go. There we go. First fish, my guy. First fish, oh yeah. 
there we go. First fish of the day. Literally, Jake and I were just sitting here having a conversation. We're like, we, our lines were just sitting super suspended down there. We're like, oh, is that a mark on you? Gosh darn it, it sure was. Got it on the plastic too. Oh man, what would you say that is? Tape on the wall here. Let's see. It. Let's just. I'm just curious. A little 10 incher right there. Just a nice little 10 incher. I think we're actually gonna. I'm gonna keep him and maybe make some fillets out of him. Some nice little. Well, I'm not gonna tell you guys what I'm cooking him with yet, but this is the first guy that we're gonna eat. That was awesome. We're literally fishing in like 25 feet of water, and he was at 15, 15 or so, and he yeah. was he was charged up, bro. Look at that suspended mark. Oh, you have some. He has a suspended marks too. This could get good here. I mean, let me drop back down here and see if I can work some magic. There we go. Dang, dude. He like came out of nowhere. I just threw the GoPro on real quick. Oh yeah. Get up here, boy. I was just literally, every time you chill on your phone, they come in, man. I swear to God. He did swallow it. You guys can see that frostbite jig all the way down there, but he did not hesitate to, to bite this. So that's a good sign that they're not acting super finicky. He's thick. He's going to harvest. That's about the same size as my first one. So about a 10 incher perfect size to eat but it is the sun is down and we think the bite is gonna start picking up here pretty soon the later the night goes on the more bait fish you can see on the bottom and check out this graph i don't know if you guys can see that but all that down there is bait and that's his his jig up there but all this bait literally none of that was here like a little bit ago it just showed up as soon as it got dark out and these crabbies are gonna start moving in and they're gonna start munching that's why it's key to be fishing around finding the bait fish and fish around those guys but but still using that frostbite jig with the plastic. I'm surprised they're hitting the plastic because you said they weren't eating the plastics, huh? If I can keep using plastics, I'll be a happy camper. Oh, oh, we're marking. This one's not acting as aggressive. He's sitting at 17 feet here. Might have to give him a little bit of love in here. He's, oh, oh yeah, he's on me. He's looking up at me. There we go. That feels a little bit better, honestly. Bro, oh, no, just about the same size we've been catching. There we go. Another one. Look how they're eating it, though. I will say that one didn't chase it as much as the, the my previous two. I mean, it took a little bit of a dang one. I got it done, folks. I got it done. Boom, that's three. There we go. Yes, sir. Let me Not see that. Not too bad. There we go. Add it to the ball bucket right there. Well, I just noticed I didn't have the mic on for, like, a half of those fish catches. We had a little bit of a lull. I caught that third one and then he started marking two fish and he's like, bro, I got some marks here. You guys saw him doink those or whatever. And then we were getting a little bit more marks. Now I have one right on me right now. Hold on. I got a mark on me right now. He's just looking at me. Oh God, dude. There we go. Just smoked it. As I was filming, giving you guys a little update here. This is my fourth one. Oh yeah. There we go. Damn. That's probably the biggest one of the day so far, honestly. Look at that, beautiful. Still using the plastics. That bait pile down there has been increasingly getting a little bit bigger. There you go. Harvest. Get him. He's slowly but surely coming up to you. Oh, dang, son. Oh yeah, another crappy. You're using plastic too, right? Yep. Okay, so we're both using plastics, and lately he's been coming here and catching them on live bait. So this is this is a little bit different. Oh, just a man. slight little change like that that can make the difference sometimes. That just goes to show you that some days fish are going to act one way, and another day they're going to act a different way. So you just got to keep trying different things until something works. There we go. Little bit of a lull. Little bit of a lull. Oh, there we go. Not a bad one. There we freaking go. Oh, I see one down there. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get this down there. Put him in the bucket. Let me get back down there. I got a fat mark right there. Oh, man. I think we got a little school here. I think so, too. Oh, I'm not marking him anymore. No, we had a little bit of a, a school coming. I caught that one and like two more appeared. Dang, dude. That was like our first like school in a while. We've had, like I said, we've had singles and doubles come in, but like that was our first school in a while. All right, I made the switch to some live bait. All I got is a little tungsten right here with some spikes. We're gonna see if that works. I assume since it got a little bit later, these fish are gonna be a little more finicky. I think these crappies are really gonna go off a of scent now um, during these low light hours. They are low light feeders, but I think that little bit of scent is gonna do a little bit of difference and help me catch some fish because obviously these spikes have more scent to them than the plastics do. So hopefully making the switch to the live bait was a good call. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. That was a light ass bite. Wow. Switched over to the live bait and it produced. 
Oh, come here. Oh, yeah. There we go. There's some marks down there, man. There's a fat mark down there. Did you miss him? Yeah. Oh, he's he's a, there's a fat mark still down there. I'm going down. I'm going down. Gosh, dang it. They kind they've been coming in a little bit more like more School schools now. Yeah, yeah. There's like that was like three, three or four that come in. There's probably three in that group right there. I caught one, then he missed one. Come on, man. Jeez, I didn't know I was fishing with Kevin Van Dam today. Criminy. The boy cleaned house. I mean, look at that freaking harvest, dude. There's still some in there too. Look at that. But it is about, what time is it you think? 9.20, it's 9.20 and I'm getting a little sleepy here. So I think we're gonna pack it up here. I'm gonna take these fish home and clean it. I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna cook them or not yet. I'm, I'm still debating that depending on how, how tired I am. But we are going to pick everything up and I'll see you guys when we get home. Also, shouts to my man for hooking me up today. You bet, buddy. Thank you. Go check him out down below. He'll be linked down below. Go give him a follow. The, the dude's Van Dam at Crappies. I thought I was the Van Dam, but no, this is this is the Van Dam right here. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Chill out. Chill. 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 Well, good morning, guys. It is 7.11 a.m. I got home super late last night, and I just cleaned the fish, and I was about to make it, and then I was like, nope, this is not happening. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So I was a little bit too tired, and it ended up being around like midnight or like 1 a.m. because I had to drive back home, you know, getting off the ice takes a while, and then cleaning the fish took a while, and I was talking to my brother, Sam's back. So, you know, we didn't cook the fish. It's 7.11 a.m., and it's time for some breakfast. Now, you guys may be wondering, how am I going to cook today's fish? Oh, yeah. Mm hmm Had her just sitting in some gosh darn salt water all night just to get all the blood out. And, I mean, that looks like some pretty good meat right there. Daisy, what else are we going to need for today's recipe? I think we're going to need some ham, some cream cheese, and some freaking pickles. All right, so I had the crazy idea. You ever seen those like pickle, cream cheese, and ham roll-ups? Well, I was thinking yesterday, I was like, dang, what if I put some fish in those roll-ups? I feel like that would mesh together well. I have no clue why I, thought, I was thinking about ham roll-ups at the time, but I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like if we added a little bit of fish in there, things would get a little bit interesting. So I'm just gonna take a few fillets out of here. Obviously, I don't need like to make all of those because I'm just gonna make like one, just so I can taste it. Maybe you can taste it too, my guy. I don't know if I'm going to show basically making this that much, but basically I'm just going to fry these like super, super quick. I don't have that much time, so I'm gonna just like take two fillets, fry them, and then create my creation here. Cause you guys have seen me fry these a lot, so I don't think I need to show you the whole process. I might show you a little bit, but I just need to get this done. Uh-huh. Yep, there we go. As you guys saw, I took two fillets, threw them in some water actually, then just threw them in the batter, then just fried them real quick. That's kind of like an easier way to do it, I guess. I haven't really done that before, but if you guys like that idea, let me know. I think they turned out pretty dang good. So these are the fillets right here. Now, time to create my freaking masterpiece right here. So I had a vision. I don't know if this is gonna work out though. So step one, we're gonna get our nice little ham going on here. Preferably get ham that doesn't have holes in it because it makes your, it'll make your life a little bit easier. So we're gonna actually just gonna double up here just so we can over overlap some of that holage. Now we're gonna open up our little cheese right here. All right, so we got our cream cheese here. We're gonna take our cream cheese, gonna get a little bit of that dangleage right there. All right, cream cheese going in our little roll up like that. Maybe a little bit more than that. All right, so we're just gonna spread the cream cheese out a little bit. Maybe you're supposed to warm this up and then do it. I don't really know, but this is what we're doing right here. Just kind of give it a little bit of a spreadage, just like that. Next, we're gonna open up these pickles. This is some kosher dill clausen. Look like some beefcakes. I might have to cut some of these in half to use them, but what, you think that's gonna work out good, Daisy? Huh? Yeah? You're cute. Oh, spilt pickle juice everywhere. Sweet. All right, we're gonna pick a lucky pickle out of here. Ooh, ooh. I think I need to cut this down a little bit. I'm gonna do some trimming real quick. All right, so I actually cut my pickle in half. 
just because I thought it was going to be a little bit too big. And we're just going to lay it in like that. Just kind of like you're laying your kids in your crib at night, you know, before you put them in bed. That's the same thing with this pickle. Then we are going to take our lovely crappy right there, looking, looking all succulent and stuff. We're just going to tuck it in right there as well. This is going to be a full on, like full cheese roll right here. This is, oh yeah. Look at that, it fell down, but that's that's what we got going on here. I'm thinking thinking this is gonna be pretty dang good. Ooh, she is looking fine as all get out. That's the finished product right there, son. I mean, look inside of there. That just looks like some goodness right there. You can see some cream cheese, some fish, and pickle. Like, I mean, this is the whole nine yards right here. This is looking pretty good. It's actually staying together pretty well too. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Roll up time, baby. That looks good. I'm thinking this looks pretty good here, and it's it's time to eat this. I'm, I'm getting kind of hungry. I haven't ate yet today. I wanna put some fish in my mouth. All right, this one looks like a good one right here. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's my little roll up here. Again, I've never seen this done on YouTube. This is the first ever crappie, ham, cream cheese, pickle, and that's it. Roll up. All right, here we go. Roll up time. Mm-hmm. Dang. Gonna have to go in for another one here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's 740 in the morning and I would still eat that because it's that good. I think dill and Fish go together super well. I don't know if I'm being crazy right now. Drop some comments down below and let me know if this is a good idea, if you guys think it's a good idea, but I think this is great. I think the combination of the cream cheese, the fish, and the pickle, like it just goes together so well. And then the ham kind of ties it all in. There's definitely so, there's a lot of flavors going on right now, but they, they all blend together super well. It's hard to explain. It's very flavorful, one could say, I guess. I'm not, I don't really know how to explain it. It's just, it's just good. It, I mean, if I was sitting down watching some college football on a Saturday or some NFL on a Sunday or the bachelor on Monday. I want to sit down with a pile of those things and just go to town because sit. You are a cute dog. Do not tell mom. What do you think? Did you even freaking taste that my guy? There you have it. The woman, the myth, the legend, Daisy. She she gives the uh, the all thumbs up. Don't you? Okay. Anyways, thank you for watching today's video. Really appreciate it. Again, guys, go check out my friend, Justin. He was super kind enough to take me out to a spot. Super, super cool dude. It was awesome fishing with him. And again, that was my first time ice fishing a night bite and my first time ice fishing that body of water. So it was a great day. The fish got a little bit finicky there at the end, but right away, those fish were coming in and freaking hammering it. It was a lot of fun. Do you guys have a lot of luck night fishing? Drop some comments down below and let me know. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We'll see you guys next time.